It's Friday, people! Yeah! It's Friday Fitness in full effect right here at AL. Hey guys, yes, we are back with this week's edition of Fitness Friday. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. We do weekly fitness challenges and healthy challenges on this channel as well as many other things. All right, so last week our challenge was to not eat out for seven days. I have one day to go because I'm filming this on Thursday, but I have been good, which has been crazy. My schedule is completely loaded, so it just goes to show you that with a little bit of planning, you can totally make meals at your house and avoid going out. All right, so now let's talk about this week's challenge. Do, do, do. Yes, so this week's challenge is going to be a toughie for me. Um, this week's challenge is another food challenge, but it is to eat whole foods, nothing processed all week. Yes, that means nothing that has anything on the package that you cannot pronounce or you don't know what it is. I'm talking about if it doesn't have a mother or it doesn't come from the ground, then you don't eat it. So with this, there are plenty of things that you can make without having to eat something that's been processed or made in a factory. This does mean no like pre-made sauces, nothing like that, but you can still have good healthy meals. I have a friend who actually just moved back from Germany. She's been there with her husband, she's their military family, and she's just moving back, and she's been asking other friends of hers what the hardest thing moving back to the United States has been. And one of the hardest things that all of them agree on is finding inexpensive healthy foods. That is a problem. In the US, we are overweight more than any other country we are overweight and that's why fitness is so important and knowing what is good for you and what is bad for you so many of the foods that we eat have preservatives in them they have sugars in them that we don't need they have extra things so that they stay on the shelf longer and so that they can sell them for inexpensively I know that I've gone over this already kind of with fast food but it is also in the food that we buy at the grocery store so to combat this, we are going to try to go one whole week with not eating any processed food. We make everything from scratch, that's just what we're going to do. I grew up on a farm and that's kind of how we lived. We had homegrown beef that we ate, homegrown pig, we had all of that, that's what we ate. We did buy chicken, my mom didn't make it very often, that's probably why I eat chicken a lot now. But. You don't have to buy a whole half of a beef, although it is a good money saver, but you can find that meat and cook it from scratch. Cook it from scratch, don't use a packet, don't use a gravy packet, don't use a sauce, just make your stuff from scratch. If you guys have any good recipes or any tips on eating whole foods, then please comment down below. Or if you would like another video about how to make recipes that are made from scratch, let me know and I will get some of those up for you. All right, guys, if you're gonna take the challenge, comment down below, let me know, and we will see you again next time. Bye.